What is going on guys? Tyler here once again and I'm sure you all forgot about me yet again and I couldn't blame you because I know that I've been absent once again but I guess that's really just kind of my thing now. Sorry about all the explosions going off in the background. It is the 4th of July here in the United States of America and that just so happens to mean that also the state that I live in everybody and their mom has to go out and buy an entire fireworks store worth of fireworks and cause multiple small to medium sized earthquakes throughout the night and no earlier until 6 a.m. So, I went to a thrift store yesterday because I like weird stuff and I like thrift stores and it just so happens where I'm from, you can find a lot of weird stuff in thrift stores. So, I went and I was looking at an old ThinkPad that was there, but to get to the ThinkPad, I had to move a box that looked like this. And now what exactly is the box? Oh wow, look at that, you can see my, uh, you can see like the, uh, <laughs> The, the, the little light thing. Hold on. How do you... Okay, there you go. Alright. So yeah, like I said, I was looking at a ThinkPad, and to get to the ThinkPad, you had to move this box off the top. And, of course, you know, I just glanced at it, and nothing really appealed about it to me until you turn it around. On the back here, you have got a, <laughs> a button. <laughs> it looked like an antenna hookup of some sort, which would be the case. You got a 5 volt 3 amp USB-C port, an Ethernet port with some kind of a peculiar blinking. It, it, it's not an unterminated end. I already looked at that. Yeah, I can't get it out. It's stuck. Okay, whatever. It's stuck. <clears throat> it's not an unterminated end. It's literally like a blank. And then looking through this hole right here, I saw four USB ports, two of which are USB 3. Do you know what else? has that port arrangement a Raspberry Pi 4 so looking a little bit closer into this I, I, I haven't peeled this sticker off yet so I can show you guys what it exactly says and I'm probably not really gonna hold on to this case even though it is a really nice aluminum property of coast something which makes me feel like I shouldn't have this which may or may not be the case but it was at a thrift store so it's their problem I paid $5.99 for this. I uh, Then I went out to my truck immediately and began tearing it apart like we're about to do here and noticed a few rather intriguing things about this. So I did that, of course, prying eyes, looked inside immediately, saw an SD card, which was another thing I'll get to, and some type of a mini PCIe card in there, um, and then a heat sink, of course. And also, yeah, I noticed the fan sticking out the bottom in the store, which piqued my interest as well. <clears throat> I know I don't I don't really know the state of the market right now as far as Raspberry Pis go, but I know that like most things, uh, they were limited for a while, and you you, you were either pay, buying them from scalpers, which blows my mind, or you were um, on an entirely too big waiting list at a local retailer in order to get your hands on one of these guys. So I I haven't needed one. I ordered one about an eight gig at Micro Center in Atlanta. Um, right before they went all bonkers, I guess. Uh, and then I ordered another one, uh, two gig, to use as a Pi VPN server. So <clears throat> I, I don't really know what is going on, but I do know that $5.99 for any Raspberry Pi 4 plus the accompanying hardware is a killer deal. So naturally, I would have lost $5.99 if I didn't buy this. So let's take a quote closer look at it real quick. First thing I noticed, let me zoom in a little bit here to uh, kind of make my camera calm down maybe. We have a nice aluminum heat sink. 64 gig SanDisk SD card, which I have not actually removed yet. Literally, <clears throat> all I did was look at it. So yeah, there's a 64 gig. Is it a class 10? It sure is. I, I, that's got to be worth at least 5.99 right there, right? Then I noticed this. This is a seed with three E's WM1302, which is a Lorawan gateway module. I have absolutely no idea what that is. I tried to briefly read about it. It's something to do with IoT devices. If anybody has any uh, personal experience with one of these or needs one, let me know because I plan on only keeping the Raspberry Pi out of this and possibly this daughter board. That, uh... You know, actually, I never really paid any attention until that until now. Yeah, that little daughter board allows you to use a mini PCIe card on a Pi, which is, which is pretty neat. I didn't know the regular Pi supported PCIe. I didn't know it supported it through the GPIO pins, which I could be completely incorrect as a whole about. I uh, 
like I said, I'm not very certain on these. This is just, I have a few pies that just do their tasks for me. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've already done all this. I just, I couldn't help but wonder what, uh, what memory configuration this guy was, so, yeah. Here's a hint, it's a one gig, but still. Yeah, there you go, there's a one gig. Um, I ran the, uh, let's see. I, I, I looked up on a, uh, a wiki and the number which is still upside down it's like a usb port flip it wrong the first time flip it again still wrong it is a one gig <clears throat> but for 5.99 i can't i still cannot complain you know and interestingly enough the heatsink has provisions for the usb controller uh, I don't know. Let's see. Does it have cooling for the USB-C? So it doesn't. It does not have cooling for the power delivery circuitry, but it does look like it control uh, cools the USB three controller, the Ethernet controller, the memory, as well as the CPU, which is not bad. And it's kind of an interesting heatsink. You see it. The the board. It must be a heatsink designed for this. You can see it was CNC machined right there. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of a story of a rather interesting Raspberry Pi that I found randomly, completely at random. So that's that, guys. If you have any questions, and like I said, if you have any comments or need for this chip, this board right here, let me know, and uh, you can have it. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video in a year.